is out of these books. You know what the best part about my last live stream was? Here's the best part. The best part about my last live stream was that I knew it wasn't the real person. So I acted along like it was. Yo, I have to grab a slice of this one quick because that's a good pizza. Oh, yeah. That's a good deal on a two topping pizza right there. Huh. No, but the best part about my last live stream is when I had some asshole pretending to be my father on Facebook. I knew it was a troll from the first start. I'm not stupid. Although some of you out there might treat me like I'm stupid or naive. I don't claim to be the smartest person in the world, mind you. But really, how thick do you think I am? <laughs> I mean, when people are willing to go that far just to bully someone, that just goes to show you that bullying's gotten out of hand. Instead of whining about it, we're going to do something about it. We're going to end it. And how do you end bullying on social media? You find the miserable fucktards that are bullying you on social media. And you beat the shit out of them. We talk a lot of mad trash behind a keyboard, but... In real life, most of them were just cowards. No, Callum, it wasn't. this back in the fridge.
Hmm. Well, Callum, to answer your question, the troll pretending to be my father on Facebook is his or her game was just to get a little shits and giggles. So I acted like I was fighting when I wasn't. I played along with it and then blocked them and then laughed about about it afterwards. I mean, if you don't like my videos, that's fine. But why are you wasting your time fucking with me this hard? No, seriously, I'm not looking for pity. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm merely asking a question. It can't just be because you're jealous and you wish you were, you know. Something has got to be psychologically wrong with these people because it makes you wonder. And it really does make you wonder. What goes through someone's head? You clearly don't like, or you say you don't like my videos or who I am, blah, 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 but then you obsessively fuck with me, so I tend to think they must like me. Sometimes you really can't wrap your head around true logic. It's, uh, yeah, sometimes you can't wrap your head around true logic. It's because they have no logic. Because logically, that doesn't make any sense. If I don't like someone on YouTube, I don't talk about them nonstop. I don't, you know what I'm saying, Facebook, I don't watch their content. I just simply ignore them and do my own thing. And that's something that... That's something that... Uh, <laughs> That's something that a lot of people need to start doing. You know what I'm saying? But if you continue to fuck control people, all you're doing is making them more famous. Using my own dick pic to troll me like, okay. That's real original. All you're gonna do is make me a porn star, but basically, metaphorically speaking. So your hatred really doesn't do you any favors. <clears throat> so I just rolled a really skinny cigarette with dark horse pipe tobacco. Like, my rolling skills on cigarettes aren't the greatest, but they are getting better. And handled cigarettes are definitely a lot cheaper than rolling them up, than buying them by the pack. And you can see the brown in there, so you know I'm not bullshitting. Yeah. 
whether you roll it in a cigarette or smoke it in a pipe, that's good tobacco. That's kind of a cool logo too, check that out. It says right there, made in the good old US of A. Mm, it's a wonderful smell. You open the bag and it's just, it's got a very sweet sort of raisiny smell to it. There is a hint of sweetness on the smoke, but it's then overpowered by a straight, regular, natural tobacco taste. Hmm. I'm not really seeing any sort of searching general warning on it. Maybe it's that thing right there. Hmm. People want to be like, oh, well, tobacco is bad for you. Yes. So it's just about everything else. So what's your point? You know, that's just, I'll save that for pipe tobacco. That's a, my rolling sucks, but it is getting better. I'm going to dump that into my pipe. There we go. Make you can roll it by hand a lot better than, you know, this tobacco is cut and dried a bit for rolling. Bags of pipe tobacco, so hold on a second. Let's try this. So whether you roll it in a stogie, it's going pretty good, Brendan. Thank you for asking. Just doing a little dark horse review. Mm, that's good. Whether you roll a cigarette with it or roll a pipe with it. That's a pretty sight on the inside of that bag. Look at it. So I saw some crazy shit earlier today. I saw like a bunch of crows fly over me. Like a whole flock of them. That is some crazy shit. And it happened while I was waiting for the bus to get back to my side of town. <clears throat> and then one of them landed close to me and 
we cawed at each other and then it flew off. In other words, I, I talk to crows all the fucking time. That's pretty cool. Interesting how that works, huh, CJ? Murder in time while I bust a rhyme for a nickel and a dime. Busting mad raps, I suppose. Yo, fuck all the drama and the shit talking hoes. Wait a second. Buster Mad Rap, yo. That they are. Crows are very intelligent birds. And uh, they learn that I mean them no harm and that I'll talk to them. So that could be why. A bunch of them recognized me. Cause I get crows all over town that talk to me. <clears throat> One of these days, if I see a crow and I have some jerky, I'm gonna toss it down for him. You make friends with crows, they recognize you and they might bring you cool stuff. Cause crows are scavengers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll see something shiny, pick it up, and then they might see you and drop it in your hand because you gave them something to give you something. <sighs> yeah, a raptus biatcha. No, but the best part about the last live stream was playing along to the trolls bullshit and then blocking them and laughing about it later. Just as I thought, that works out very nicely. Good, good. Check my chin now. I know for a fact that the rest of it's coming in, so that works out fairly nicely. What's up, Ronald? How you doing? That they are. Crows, ravens, vultures. Scavenger birds are pretty cool. See, why do we even need maggots when we got crows and fly? Because flies are obnoxious, but they play a part in the ecosystem. 
The mosquitoes, on the other hand, are just a pain in the ass. That's the only nice thing about cold weather is there's no mosquitoes. Uh, I'm not going to blow it all on pizza because that's just unnecessary, but every once in a while you got to have a pizza because, you know, yeah. One love, motherfucker. I had a very pleasant Monday night. Thank you for asking, Parker Jackson. I slayed a troll so hard. It was like some next level shit. <laughs> with any good business you gotta restock your supplies and make sure you have enough money to ship your wands out and once you've done that the rest is profit <laughs> that's great Parker Jackson says when will the trolls learn that they can't win you know, that makes me wonder, Parker Jackson, are trolls really as stupid as they think I am? You know what I'm saying? Are trolls as stupid, are trolls stupid as they think I am? Or are they as stupid as they think that I am? Like, that's some bullshit, dude. <laughs> no, I don't know if they will ever learn that they can't win. Think about it trolls and standing up against them is you're stronger in numbers you know what i'm saying facebook you're stronger in numbers so if you got a bunch of people standing up against internet bullies it eventually stops sometimes ignoring it doesn't work and you can't physically reach through your screen and beat the ever-living shit out of these motherfuckers. So you basically, when it comes to <clears throat> internet bullies, you gotta fight fire with fire. They start talking some mad keyboard smack. That's when you're talking mad keyboard smack back to them, you know? <laughs> Do crows have magic? Hard to say, maybe. Some witches back in the day might have had the best pets because they gather shiny things. So you never know. Maybe way back in the day, they had these things, They're these giant blackbirds, the mixtures of crows and ravens, and then they went extinct and now they got their own separate species. But what if? An ancient human fed that bird as a pet, and then that bird came back with a quartz crystal or some shit. And that's how magic was discovered. Hard to say. Hard to say. But I'll catch you cool cobras on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> 